Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Lectors. Today we're reviewing Shadowbug for the Nintendo Switch. With the eShop being flooded with indie titles, some good, some not so good, where does Shadowbug for the Nintendo Switch fit in this equation? Stay tuned. I want to thank Mural Studios for providing the review code to review this game. Shadowbug is a unique puzzle platformer that takes you, Shadowbug, through 36 action-filled levels. There are two methods of playing. One with your Joy-Cons detached, you use the left Joy-Con to move while the right Joy-Con controls Fly, your companion. You point your right Joy-Con at your TV screen or the Switch's tablet, marking enemies. With a simple push of the right trigger, dashes Shadowbug towards the enemy and unleashes a slash attack. Shadowbug in the eShop is $8.99 US or $11.60 Canadian, which isn't too steep of a price for the amount of gameplay that you get in this game. 36 levels doesn't seem like much, but there's a lot of replayability to each level. Pros to Shadowbug. Marking and executing a string of attacks does feel quite satisfying. To me, Shadowbug feels like a mixture between two games, Super Meat Boy and Limbo. Super Meat Boy with its Twitch controls and being able to platform on the fly, Shadowbug has that same element. And as for Limbo, the art direction of Shadowbug is beautiful in itself. Shadowbug features addictive gameplay. I had to pull myself from the Nintendo Switch many times because of the one more level or one more boss. I felt like I couldn't get away from Shadowbug's addictive nature. One more great feature that Shadowbug has is it's easy to play, but it's very hard to master. I found myself playing and replaying levels over and over again just try to get a three star rating or even just try to get the main objective of the level. It was just something that was very, very easy to play, but very hard to master. The cons to this game is that there's no story whatsoever in this game. I found that I only really noticed what was going on based off of the, the change of the levels. At the end, you're basically going after a corporation or a company that's, you know, that you're fighting against. There are slight little loading screens in between each level, just giving you a little snippet of a little artwork that needs to be, I guess, described as to what's going to happen next. Nothing really explains anything as to why you're doing this. A game like this doesn't necessarily need a story, but for me, I found that I would like to have a little story, a little backstory as to who Shadowbug is. I found at times with the right Joy-Con, it felt a little bit inaccurate when we were marking enemies. I found that you were trying to actually waggle the screen and trying to get a certain lock onto a certain enemy that you needed to progress to the next part of the level. It wasn't very accurate at all. I kind of switched to the touch controls after the levels got much progressively harder later on into the game. It could only be played in the handheld mode while using the touch controls. You cannot use the Joy-Cons in handheld mode at all. One just controls the movement and the right Joy-Con does not do anything. So touch controls are the only option of playing handheld on the Nintendo Switch. And back to the touch controls, I found that at times that the touch controls were a little bit jumpy at times. I know one is the major inaccuracy with the right Joy-Con and the touch controls are a little bit too accurate. I found that as long as I was pressing left or right to try to get my shadow bug to move left or right, I found that if my finger was anywhere near an enemy, it would automatically lock to that enemy and automatically shoot me towards that enemy, even though that's not what I wanted to do, sometimes causing quick deaths or trying to replay that certain part over it again. Overall, I did enjoy my time with Shadowbug. I found that Moro Studios did a very good job porting this over. This was an Android and iOS game that was ported over to Nintendo Switch. And I found that even though it is a port of a mobile game, I found that it was pretty good and felt pretty solid as a, as a full-fledged game on the Nintendo Switch. I believe those of you who play Shadowbug will find your time with it will be very, very good and enjoyable. I want to say thank you very much, Moral Studios, for allowing me to review this game. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys.